What's up, everybody? It's Joneser, your favorite comic book guy, and I am here with some phasmophobia. So, we are going to start here, check out our daily tasks. It looks like we've got the discover the ghost type, get a spirit box response, survive with only the starter items, play contracts. Uh, we got some weeklies going on here. Um, I am level 84 and I am looking to prestige soon. Let's start out in good old Tanglewood here. I play on professional difficulty because I am a professional. Let's do this. All right, it looks like our ghost is Georgia Gaten. First objective is to detect the ghost's presence on an emotion sensor, to have a member of the team witness an event, and to capture a photo of the ghost. So pretty easy objectives here. We will take a photo camera. Um... I'll leave the motion sensor for now until I know where the ghost room is. Okay, so the breaker will start off, so we have to find it in the garage. There are two floors, basement floor and top floor. All right, let's get in here. The game has a voice recognition technology, so if that microphone icon in the corner is on, which I just turned it off, the ghost would be able to normally hear me speak. Right now it cannot, because I'm talking to you guys. I don't want the ghost to hear me. I was like, whoa. Like you blew out my lantern there. That was freaky. Now the first thing I like to do is just kind of get the power to the place on. Then we'll kind of scout around, see if we can find the bone or the cursed possession or some decent hiding places in uh, the ghost room. Now if a room is no longer relevant, I like to turn the lights off. So I know there's no reason to go back in there. Now yeah, looking around the kitchen, not seeing anything. Oh, there's the bone. So we will take a photo of the bone. That is evidence. And we will carry on. Looking for the cursed object now, so I don't need to search the room so thoroughly anymore now that I found the bone. We're just searching for ghostly presence and cursed objects now. Bone objective is completed. A good giveaway if the is the ghost room is you will see cold breath. Now that doesn't necessarily mean freezing temperatures anymore. The way the um, game is. Uh, been updated freezing temperatures has to be checked with the thermometer it can no longer be gauged by a cold breath and a quiet ghost except for that he blew out my lantern somewhere over there so Oop. what was that maybe in the kitchen look around a little though I like to light the candles even though there's really no reason to they don't give you any of the uh, in the game the sanity drains as you are in the dark now the firelight can prevent that somewhat in the old days it used to prevent it a hundred percent see there's a hiding spot in here so I like to leave the light on just in case I get chased, I know I can run to the rooms with the lights on and hide. So let's check this kitchen out. 
Oh yeah. Through a plate. I'm thinking we're in here. So we probably got a kitchen ghost. So I'm gonna dump my equipment. Oh yeah, blew out my candle and everything. You know what, I don't think I ever found a cursed object and there's only one less place it can be. That's right, our cursed object is a music box. Okay, we'll leave the light on because there's a decent little hiding place in there. All right, now we will head to the truck. Get some equipment to investigate the kitchen. Now that's usually what I like to do, is especially with playing single player, you have no teammates to um, to rely on. So we uh, do our best by ourselves. So you have to be kind of strategic. It's a little bit slower paced. Can you bring a thermometer? motion sensor and one more thing yeah maybe we'll bring a cross just to be safe so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna head in there and I'm gonna check for the cold the temperature to see if the room's cold that would prove that it's the ghost room yes confirmed I even saw my breath so doesn't say freezing but and we'll set this motion sensor hopefully we can get the ghost to interact with it and uh, we'll put this cross here ish prevent the ghost from haunting this room. All right, back to the truck. I like to travel to the truck empty-handed. That way you can make the most of these trips. You can carry three items at a time. Um, once I prestige to prestige one, I will be able to carry an additional item to a maximum of four. The headgear item does not count because it's on your head. And I just kind of like to, you know, methodically put the equipment in the room and uh, see what we can find. So we got some video surveillance here. And we'll hook our dots projectors up. And then I like to shut the lights off. So we could see this better in the safety of the truck. What's a smart thing to do if you're doing this is to um, make short trips into the house and back into the truck. Um, if you want to stay safe, play it safe. Now what we do here is we search for dots, evidence, or uh, ghost orbs which so far I'm not seeing anything. Um, but it is early, so it's hard to say. We don't know. So in the meantime, we can come back and check that later. We're going to bring some more equipment into the place and see what we get. Now, since the room is already dark, I'm going to activate the voice. So now the ghost can hear me. Oop, I saw it on the dots. Are you here? Can you speak? Where are you? Are you a girl? Are you old? Can you give me a sign? 
Be nice if you'd walk in front of those dots again and let me take your picture. But being that we saw it with our naked eye, that proves that it is not a Gorio. As you play the game, you'll learn kind of... Oh, 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 oh. Okay, well, we're going to get out of here for a bit. She don't like me being in there. Didn't like me talking, so that could be a yokai. But we're going to cross Gorio off the list and write down our dots evidence. That's what we know so far. It cannot be a Gorio, and it does have dots. Yeah, Yokai is on the list. So, knowing that, we'll grab the rest of the gear we need to check. Maybe grab one of these little smudge sticks just to be safe. Ooh, I think it turned out the power. Now, luckily, I got the night vision goggles here. Some EMF evidence. Now, five would be evidence. This is just a reading. Not freezing. Seeing any fingerprints so far. Sure likes throwing things. Okay, well, I'm gonna throw that right there. We're gonna leave this here handy. Might need that later. And we're gonna get out of here. We didn't learn anything from that trip, but I'm thinking it's probably not freezing because that thermometer has definitely been in there long enough to present it. Ooh, we lost some sanity too. Sanity is about like your life, so it can, uh, you can see it stuck there. That was cool. Um, the lower it gets, the more uh, the ghost can hunt you. I'm going to cross freezing off and see what that does. Not much. Really just eliminates a few. I'm thinking that is the right move. We can always check it later. We can do a test to see if it's a wraith. So we will lay some salt down. And then just because we have empty slots, I'm going to take the sound sensor in there. And yeah, maybe two salts. I think it turned the light off again. Pesky. We'll get the breaker back on here. And we'll lay some salt down. check for footprints I'm not seeing any uh, might mean there's no ultraviolet let's get this lantern on as I'm sure I'm losing sanity like crazy just sitting in the dark here we are protected with the cross but never want to Take that for granted. There's ultraviolet evidence. Perfect. We'll get a picture of that. Get a picture of our other salt step. Oh boy. We are just getting all kinds of activity now.
I'm gonna lay some salt out here just in case I need to escape this ghost. This black salt will slow it down for two seconds if it's chasing me. And we're empty again. I'm sure that took a big hit to my sanity. I was sitting in the darkness a long time. Oh yeah, so we will fix that here. Three more photos. One of them needs to be the ghost photo. And we got some evidence, ultraviolet evidence. I think in Banshee or Phantom. If it's a Phantom, that's going to make it hard to photograph it. Okay, so we are looking for either ghost orbs or spirit box to prove Banshee or Phantom. So, we have not seen orbs, and it did not respond to the spirit box, so a little tricky here. Thinking the ghost photo is going to be the easiest thing to do if I can get it in the dots, but... Okay. So the plan is we're going to go in there, ask it some questions in the spirit box, and try to get the ghost photo. If it presents itself half as much as it's doing now, this shouldn't be a problem. We'll see. And, oh, I did bring that in. We might as well bring this. We safe. Sanity is decent. And let's bring a lantern, because why not? Okay. Are you here? Are you with me? Where are you? get your picture oh, I think I need oh we got the proof it is a phantom one more picture then and we got a perfect investigation here I didn't want that picture though blow out this candle or something Come on, one more picture. Phantom it was. So that was pretty wild. We had the phantom there. Um, took a while for it to get a spirit box response and it's taken even longer for me to get this final picture. If I get this picture and get out of here alive, this will be a perfect investigation, which will be nice. Um, come on, baby. Really? There we go. Thank you so much. We will be leaving now. All right. Pulled it off. I'll check our board. We got all the objectives. 
all the pictures. We'll check our journal objectives, all three star pictures. Got the ghost photo. See, and that's a way to check for phantom is the photo won't be distorted and the ghost won't appear, but it'll count as a ghost photo because you cannot see a phantom in a photo. It's not possible. All right, here we go. Perfect investigation. Did great. Kicking butt. Are we going to level up here? That would be even greater. Oh, I think I'm going to just miss it. Bummer. Well, there we are. Well, that is how you get a perfect investigation there on Phasmophobia. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. Leave a comment, like, subscribe. Until next time. Thanks for watching, and I'd like to thank our sponsors on Patreon. For less than the price of a cup of coffee, you too can help us create more fun content. Please consider joining. And a special shout out to those that have already joined, Figuratively Speaking, whom you can see his content on YouTube, Eternian Ellipse, who is also on YouTube, Manic Plastic Toy Shop, you can check on Instagram or Facebook to buy his wonderful toys, and Benny Poe. And you can see me every Saturday night at 10 p.m. Central and Sunday at noon Central on Weird Fantastic Toy Adventures.